Hey guys, so these are the lashes that I always use and I like the crisscross ones because they look the most natural to me and I don't really want to go for something that's over dramatic and it's like, oh my god guys, look at me, I'm wearing fake lashes. But yeah, these are the ones that I like the most and I'm going to teach you guys how to stack them to get a little bit more drama without having to buy a whole new box of lashes or a new pair. Because let's be real, not all of us have enough money to keep buying lashes of different styles. So just keep watching and I'll show you everything you need to know. Alright, so let's start off with lashes that we just took out of the box. Some lashes will come out of the box with a little bit of glue on the edges, some won't. Mine don't come with it. So, we're going to start with trimming the lashes. Now, I have two pairs because I like to stack my lashes because I feel like it's a bit too sparse and it doesn't really make that much of a difference without stacking the lashes. Alright, so normally with lashes, you're only going to want to cut off the outer ends, but I'm going to cut off the inner end as well because I want my lashes to be quite long and more dramatic, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you later on how we're going to overcome the fact that the inner corner lashes are extremely long. And also, I like to cut it so that it's shorter than my actual eye length so that when I apply it, it doesn't actually poke the inner corner of my eyes. Now, I'm used to cutting my lashes a lot, so I do know the length of my eyes generally, but if you don't know it, just measure it up against your eyeballs. Just hold it up and see where you want it to land. And to make sure that all lashes are equal length, you can always stack them on top of each other and then just take a trim for wherever they line up. Alright, so as you can see here, the inner corner lashes are quite long because we did cut it off from the opposite end, the inner corner end. So, to make it more natural, I'm just going to trim it a little bit and I'm trimming all the lashes individually because that way when we stack them all on top of each other, they don't necessarily line up to be the exact length. So some will be sticking out a little bit more. So don't worry if you don't trim it all to be the exact same length, it's just going to make it more natural because not all our lashes are in uniform length. Alright, now for attaching the lashes, just add a little bit of glue. If you don't feel comfortable with pushing the glue out of the tube, you can always just put it on a piece of paper and then use a toothpick or a q-tip. I would say to use a toothpick more than a q-tip because q-tips tend to have those little cotton frays which tend to get annoying. But just apply it to the top of the lashes, close to the lash line, and just add the other one on top. And then hold it in place and let it dry. And after all that work, your lashes are finally prepped and ready to be applied. Alright, so now for applying the lashes. So as usual, just apply some lash glue onto the lashes. If you don't feel comfortable just doing it like that, just use a toothpick. And make sure you get it into the corners though, because if you don't get it right to the corners, your lashes are going to come off quite easily. Alright, so now we're waiting about 10-15 minutes just for the glue to get a little tacky. We're going to bend the lashes back and forth so that way it forms more of the shape to our eyelids. Because we already prepped the lashes and bent it to the shape of our eyelids, we're just going to apply it right above our regular lashes. Here I'm just using my fingers to press together my false lashes and real lashes so that way they go closer together. Now if you want, sometimes I do use this. I use tweezers for the inner corner because sometimes in cases like this, the inner corner doesn't really want to bend the way I want it to bend. So that's when the tweezers come in. And also brushing the lashes upwards with your fingers can help to give your lashes some more lift so they stand out a lot more than normal. And then in the end your lashes should look like this applied. Alright, time to take off the lashes after a long day. Now trust me, this feels amazing. So I tend to just rip it right off, but sometimes if your falsies are stuck onto your lashes, you're not going to want to do that. So here's the gentler way. Okay, so the gentler way is just to get a cotton swab and soak it in some makeup remover. I'm just using extra virgin olive oil. That's a lot easier for me, but it's up to you whichever you use. And so just keep drenching it and dabbing it for a little while and keep it on there for maybe a few seconds. If you don't have a cotton swab, you can just use a cotton pad if you want. And your lashes should come off a lot more easily than if you just pulled it right off. Okay, now I'm sure most of you guys are probably in my position. We don't have enough money to wear a new pair of lashes every day. So it's time to reuse it. All you have to do is just clean it up a little. So grab a pair of tweezers and start pulling off at all that white glue that's left onto there. If the lash glue is very hard to pull off, you can always soak the lashes in water for a few seconds. Don't leave it in there. I made the mistake and my lashes basically fell apart. And don't forget to be gentle too because even though these lashes are false, 
They are very easy to ruin. And for the finishing touches, just grab some back eyeliner and just go over the lash line of the falsies. That way, you can maintain the color of your falsies because after wearing them for a while, you start to find them turning a white color. As for maintaining them, you can put them into anything like a contact case or even the old package for your eyelashes. Anything really helps, just try not to get them squished up and everything. But that's all. Alright, so after a few more tries, I'm sure you guys are going to be professional at putting on falsies. So good luck to you guys and I hope this helped. And if you haven't checked out last week's video, it's where I get a little bit more personal with you guys with 10 facts about me. So do check it out and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!